This is the Black River near Onaway, spawning grounds for the Great Lakes' largest fish, the sturgeon. The sturgeon is a bottom-dwelling fish and can indeed be considered the elder statesmen of Michigan's fish species. And because they mature so very late in their lives, their spawning periodicity is, you know, a female will only spawn once every four to seven years. Once they become mature at the age of 17 to, to 30, males, once they become, become mature to breed at age 12 to, to 22, they will only come up the stream every other year. The DNR fisheries have done surveys over the years and um, a bulk of the mortality was attributed to poaching and that's when we said this is this cannot be continued to happen and we said what can we do to help out so we work around the clock uh, with the DNR law division and at night the uh, volunteer off-duty National Guard comes out with the Vietnam vets with their night vision goggles to patrol the river. I walked from the other side all the way up the bank, you know, looking in every yeah. little hole. I walked down everywhere. here too and I even went up there a little ways. And I, I, never see seen, anything, so. I never seen a one, but then she has seen three drift back. So. Mm -hmm. Last year we had 150 people donate over 1,300 hours to sturgeon protection, and uh, that's that's pretty exciting. Mother Nature plays a very key role. Generally, when the water temperature is between 50 to 53, they begin their ascent up the river. The temperatures for spawning is anywhere from 55 to 60. You'll actually see them spawning, but water velocity is, is real important as well as temperature. The substrate, they prefer rocky substrate, clay, larger pea gravel, because when they lay their eggs, their eggs are very adhesive and they stick to the rocks. Roughly five to eight days after that, they will hatch and then drift downstream as fry and our fisheries managers do an, a larval sampling to determine to what extent natural reproduction is occurring. These sturgeon sure are impressive when you just watch them through polarized glasses on the banks, but to really get a good idea of their size, you need to swim alongside them. There's been sturgeon from 24 inches to 72 inches, but on an average fish seen here this year, I would say it was roughly 55 inches, possibly around 50 pounds. It's almost become a passion. I, it kind of goes back to my father, my grandfather, turned me on to, to outdoorsy things, fishing and some hunting, and um, a few years ago, my, my grandpa was on his deathbed, and, and this is when we were beginning to gather a bunch of data on our sturgeon, and, and he just squeezed my hand in a very quiet voice and said, do what you need to do to keep the sport alive. So that, that's a lot of the thrust. predate the dinosaur. They've outlived the catastrophes which did in the dinosaurs and 70 percent of the other species back 136 million years ago. And that's really hard to fathom, but yet in the space of a century, uh, mankind, humanity, call us what you will, are about to do them in and that's pretty unconscionable. Sturgeon for Tomorrow have an impressive track record. In Lake Winnebago, Wisconsin, they have four chapters with over 3,000 members. Their sturgeon population is now one of the largest in the world.